Doc is very proud of being Great Western. He talks endlessly about it, but he works hard too and makes everything go like clockwork. Today was a splendid day on the island of Sodor. The trucks and coaches were behaving well and the passengers had stopped grumbling. But the engines didn't like having to bustle about. There are two ways of doing things, Duck told. The Great Western way or the wrong way. I'm Great Western and don't we know it, the engines groaned. Gordon and Henry were glad when a visitor came. He purred smoothly towards them. The fat controller introduced him. Here is Diesel, he said. I have agreed to give him a trial. He needs to learn. Please teach him, Duck. Good morning, purred Diesel in an oily voice. Pleased to meet you, Duck. Is that James and Henry and Gordon too? I am delighted to meet such famous engines. The silly engines were flattered. He has very good manners, they murmured to each other. We are very pleased to have him in our yard. Doc had his doubts. Come on, he said impatiently. Ah, yes, said Diesel. The yard, of course. Excuse me, engine. Diesel purred after Duck, talking hard. Your worthy fat, Sir Topham Hat to you, ordered Duck. Diesel looked hurt. Your worthy Sir Topham Hat thinks I need to learn. He is mistaken. We Diesels don't need to learn. We know everything. We come to a yard and improve it. We are revolutionary. Oh, said Duck, if you're rever finger me, Perhaps you would collect my trucks while I fetch Gordon's coaches. Diesel, delighted to show off, purred away. When Duck returned, Diesel was trying to take some trucks from a siding. They were old and empty. They had not been touched for a long time. Diesel found them hard to move. Pull! Push! Oh, oh, the trucks groan. We can't, we won't. Duck watched with interest. Diesel lost patience. <laughs> he roared and gave a great heave. The trucks jerked forward. Oh, oh, they scream. We can't, we won't. <laughs> Roared Diesel. Ho, 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 chuckled Duck. Diesel recovered and tried to push the trucks back. But they wouldn't move. Duck ran quietly round to collect the other trucks. Thank you for arranging these, Diesel, he said. I must go now. Don't you want this lot? Asked Diesel. No, thank you, replied Duck. Diesel gulped. And I've taken all this trouble. He almost shrieked. Why didn't you tell me? You never asked me. Besides, said Duck innocently, you were having such fun being Reva, whatever it was you said. Goodbye. Diesel had to help the workmen clear the mess. He hated it. All the trucks were laughing and singing at him. Trucks are waiting in the yard, packing them with diesel. Show the world what I can do, gaily boast the diesel. In and out he creeps about, like a big black weasel. When he pulls the wrong trucks out, pop goes the diesel. 
So real louder and louder, and soon it echoed through the yard. Growled Diesel and scuffled away to sulk in the shed.